I'm Pete Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today I'm going to talk about how to rig up your rod when you want to move about the stream. Uh, sometimes we have trees uh, around, uh, sometimes we have a narrow trail with a lot of trees uh, overhanging. We might get uh, snagged in those trees. So we want to make sure that we rig up our rod so it's also easy to get going, uh, it's easy to start fishing. So what I did was I tied on a woolly bugger right here. Now this is a seven weight rod right here uh, that I use for most of the videos. And uh, most trout rods have a little loop right here and that's your hook keeper. And you can hook your fly right here on that hook keeper, but you have a little problem when you do that. If we have an eight and a half foot long rod, this is a nine foot rod, uh, we might have a nine foot long leader. Okay, notice that leader connection right there where the fly line meets the leader, that loop to loop connection. I've actually seen people accidentally break rods trying to get this connection out of the rod tip. Notice now I have that connection right there. I've seen this come forward and sometimes get stuck, usually right there, and then actually a rod tip almost breaking because of that. So here's a little trick. This is something I like to do. Uh, this is something that was taught to me by uh, Troll Myers. He says it's an old saltwater fly fishing trick. What I like to do is rather than taking my fly and putting it in the hook keeper, I like to take my fly and hook it on probably the first snake guide right up here. So this is a saltwater rod, so it's got two stripping guides. I just take my fly and I hook it onto that first snake guide, not that hook keeper. I'm then gonna take that leader and I'm gonna pull it down, pull out a little bit of line, and I'm gonna flip this leader now over the back side of my reel. I wanna put it over the back side not the front side. And the reason is that spool where it sits, next, or sits up to that frame, that little bit of a slot, sometimes your leader could fall through that. So I like to put it around the back of my reel. Now, I have a couple feet of fly line out past the tip of my rod. I can start casting very, very easy. I don't have this leader loop connection stuck inside the tip top, okay, where I don't have to pull it out and potentially break my rod. Also, my leader's not inside, they're getting kinked. Now when I wanna go fish, I just take that leader off, I just give my rod a little tap, fly falls off, now I'm ready to start casting. Now I'm in good shape. When I'm done fishing in that spot, again, I just take my fly, hook it up here on that first uh, snake guide, take that leader, flip it over my reel, and now I can walk uh, to different parts of the stream. Now when you're walking from one spot to, a net, to the other, what you don't wanna do is hold that rod up in the air like this. You're gonna get that rod tip stuck in a lot of different trees, okay? You either wanna hold it straight in front of you and kinda weave it through where you want it to go, or you wanna hold it straight behind you just like this. By doing that, that's gonna help you get around from one spot to the next and hopefully catch a few more fish. That's rigging your rod.